Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about the newest palette from Juvia's Place, and it is the Magic Palette. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so those of you guys who are new, be sure to subscribe. That way you guys can be part of the little family that I have here on YouTube, as well as the bell notification so you guys get notified whenever I post up future videos. So getting into the palette, I actually bought this on the JuviusPlace.com website and it retails for $35. Now I did use a 10% off discount code and I will post the one that I used on the description box so you guys can use that. And I believe it took off like $3.50. So this palette is really, really big. It is just like the Masquerade palette. You guys can see in size comparison, they are exactly the same size. I know they recently came out with the mini, but this one is the really big one that they came out first. So as far as the packaging goes, you guys can see it does have like these two beautiful um, kind of like African women tri from tribes that are on the front and you can see it does have like a moon and a sun kind of like a day and night palette is what they were going for so um, the palettes are all the same they don't have any mirrors which I don't mind and when you actually open it you guys can see that these are the two ladies again and then you get all of your shades now these are the shades that you get and they are so beautiful. Now Juvia's Place um, eyeshadow palettes are very very pigmented and buttery. They are probably hands down one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes at the moment. So size comparison against the Saharan from Juvia's Place. You guys can see the eyeshadow pans are way bigger. So here is the Magic palette. And here is the Saharan palette. So you guys can see they are tiny compared to the um, Magic palette. Now um, let's go ahead and start some swatches so I can show you guys what these look like. So here is the first row. The first shade we have is the yellow and it is definitely like a metallic foiled shadow and that one is in the shade Nubia. Next up we have a matte orange. And that one is in the shade Zakia. Next we have another foiled shadow. It is a pink and it is in the shade Osun or Osun. And last up we have a matte shade. And it is more of like a peachy nude. And it is in the shade Kessie. So here we have the second row. The first shade right here, this is a metallic foiled pink and it is in the shade Zuba. Next we have a matte like orangey brown and that one is in the shade Nana. Next we have another foiled um, nude shade. This one is in the shade Burunu. And last we have like a bright fluorescent like neon pink and that one is in the shade Koji. So here are the shades for the third row. Now the third and fourth rows are more of like the night shades and the first two were more of the day shades. So this first shade right here is like a metallic foiled purple. It is in the shade Faso. Now this one does have like a shift of blue to it as you guys can see as I move my hand. Next we have Aja which is more of like a deep teal emerald bluey green color. Um, that's the best way I can describe it, but it's beautiful. Next we have Bai, which is more of like a metallic foiled like silver granite shade. And last we have Yamoja, which is more of like a satin and it's kind of like a light gray shade. And the last row are right here. So this first one is pretty much just a deep plummy purple. This one is in the shade Iffy and it is a matte shade. Next we have this really pretty teal color and it's in the shade Yara and it is more of like a satin finish. The third shade we have is a metallic green shade. It is in the shade Buzo. This one is beautiful. And last up we have Yajedi and this one is pretty much just a like matte blue. Now I do have to say that some of these matte shades are a little bit harder to um, swatch so it's gonna be the same thing like on your eyes but as far as like the metallic foil shades they are super buttery so let me go ahead and show you guys what i'm talking about so i'm gonna get this yellow shade one swipe 
one swipe and show you on my hand it is extremely buttery and they come off so beautiful alrighty guys so I wanted to show you guys what I created with this palette so I did use the orangey um, corally shades on the crease as you guys can see I did place a metallic um, like nudie shade all over my lid and then I did pop a little bit of yellow on the center just to kind of make it a little um, like the eyes a little bit more popped or something so I also did put the yellow on the inner corner I did use a metallic green on my center of my waterline and then I did put the matte purple on the corner of the waterline just to kind of give my eyes a little bit more dimension but I love this look it is kind of like a summery um, sunset type of look but um, yeah I'm super excited to be playing with this palette and see what other looks I can create Alrighty guys, so my overall thoughts on this palette is I definitely love this palette. The colors and the shades in this palette are beautiful. Very, very um, different from the other shades that are in her palette. But still the same quality as the uh, previous palette. So I definitely do recommend you to snag it up. I just checked on her website and they're still available. So like I said before, I will post the 10% off discount code in the description box so you guys can use that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.